Arcade games have been popular since the early 80s and are all around the world. And one of those games was, nope, not Donkey Kong. Not Mortal Kombat, though they are great games. This time we're talking about Street Fighter. With fighters like Ryu, Chun-Li, Ken, E. Honda, and Rage Quitters. Street Fighter characters have fought against many people from other Capcom universes, and the Marvel Universe as well. Also, not to mention Ryu has fought against some of Nintendo's best, including Mario, and even some of the others, such as Mega Man, Bayonetta, and even Pac-Man. Anyways, here's my top 10. Wait, no, that won't do it. These games are too awesome. Okay then, top 20 Street Fighter characters. So, round one, fight! Number 20. Balrog. But in Japan, he is known as M. Bison. No, not that one. That one. The M stands for Mike, so his name is Mike Bison, which is similar to, you guessed it, Mike Tyson. I see what you did there, Japan. But in order to keep this image away from Mike Tyson, the American team working on Street Fighter changed his name in America, just to avoid any lawsuits. Anyways, Mike, er, I mean, Balrog, works for M. Bison. I don't even know what I'm doing with the American translation names. This is getting too damn confusing! Balrog works for M. Bison as one of the top three Shadowloo henchmen, and he's a deadly boxer and was banned from the sport for accidentally killing an opponent, and as well as doing illegal maneuvers in the ring, such as his headbutt. Hey, but pretty similar to Mike Tyson biting someone's ear off. <laughs> if you see this Mr. Mike Tyson, please don't punch me or try to bite my ear off. Next number! Come on! Number 19. Sagat. Sagat? Sagat? I don't know how to pronounce names. What's wrong with me today? Okay, I'm just gonna go with Street Fighter 2 dub on how to pronounce names. This walking mountain of muscle is called Sagat. Sagat, the Muay Thai champion in the Street Fighter universe. This guy was second in command in the Shadowloo Empire way before Fang became second in command. Sagat stands at 7 feet and 4 inches and he entered the first Street Fighter tournament only to be defeated by Ryu in the championship. Ryu won and is the cause of the giant scar across Sagat's chest with a Shoryuken. After that, Sagat swore revenge on Ryu. Later, Sagat resigned from being a Shadowloo member and started to focus more on his martial arts training. And according to the Street Fighter wiki, he likes sportsmanship, strong opponents, and fighting with Ryu. He's a great character due to his cool eye patch, scar, and his moves that have the war tiger in them. It's the eye of the tiger, it's the thrill of the fight side. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to do that. Next character. Number 18. R. Mika, or Rainbow Mika. She's a masked wrestler hailing all the way from Japan, and she first appeared in Street Fighter 3, but she is back in the new game Street Fighter 5, with bouncy booby and booty action for all. She's a wrestler whose inspiration is Zangief, and she wants to become a world class wrestler, and eventually she does meet up with her hero in an exhibition match, but she loses it to the Russian brawler. It's okay, sweetie. You may not be as big as that bear man, but my gosh, you look like the woman of my dreams. Well, one of them anyways. A lot of her attacks involve her ass smashing into the opponent and slamming them onto the ground. Yep, she's an amazing waifu. Muscle spirit. Number 17. Dalsum. Dalsum is a character hailing from the country of India, and he's a fierce competitor due to his balance with yoga. He's a slower character, but makes up for it in stretchiness, and of course his awesome fire attacks. He doesn't throw fireballs like Super Mario, or even Ryu for that matter, but instead blows them out of his mouth and claims himself to be able to do so as a blessing from worshipping the Hindu god Agni. Agni. Uh, uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Dalsum can stretch, teleport, and breathe fire. He's just that badass. Shoot, if I tried stretching like him, I'd probably break something. 
Let me see if I can. Oh crap! Oh crap! I need a hospital. What's the number to 911? Next character. Yoga. Number 16. Well then, let's begin. Dudley. This guy is a man's man and a gentleman at that. He's polite, drinks tea, is British, and a gentleman to everyone he fights. He was born into a wealthy family and then later became a strong boxer and also a successful businessman. This guy is what every man should strive to be. Strong, smart, and a gentleman to everyone he meets. His movements are fast and consist of nothing but boxing moves. Unlike Balrog who headbutts his opponents. This guy is a man's man and has honor, as well as probably having the best theme song in all of Street Fighter 4. You could dance to it and kick someone's ass to it at the same time. One more. Number 15. Sakura. Sakura is a 16-year-old girl originating from Japan who started her training in martial arts from her big inspiration, Ryu. She fights in a schoolgirl uniform, but is actually very strong. According to her training regime in Street Fighter 4, it consists of 100 laps around the deck on the cruise ship she was on, 500 push-ups, 500 pull-ups, 500 sit-ups, and 800 squats. I assume this isn't 500 push-ups in a row. Maybe. But then again, that is a lot to do in one day for a little girl. She's actually really strong. Kind of inspiring me to train right now. She eventually does meet Ryu and fights with him, but fails to win, unfortunately. She can perform actually some of Ryu's techniques, such as the Hadoken, the Shoryuken, and Tatsumaki Senpukyaku. She does change it to adjust to her own style, however, but this is still amazing for this young lady. She is an inspiration to girls and women everywhere, and so young too, which is another reason why she made this list. Number 14. Kami. She's a British Secret Forces agent wearing a leotard that barely covers her ass. Kami was originally a clone of M. Bison and is meant to do his evil bidding, or so Bison claims. Kami was to commit assassinations across the world, and hell, in the animated movie, she killed some president? Important guy? I don't know. It's kind of vague. Anyways, eventually Kami snaps out of Bison's shadow powers and joins the Delta Red Britain Secret Forces group, and from then on she entered the Street Fighter tournament to fight against Bison and his gang of thugs. Some of her friends include Chun-Li and Sakura, and what a bunch of lovely three ladies! They could kick a lot of ass. And are beautiful. Next character. Returning to mission! Number 13. I hope you're ready for a beating. Dan Hibiki. He's the, um, well, wannabe dumbed downgraded version of Ryu and Ken. Dan Hibiki is pretty much what most of us would be like if we were in the Street Fighter tournament. We'd have video game powers, but they wouldn't be that good since most people don't have intense training such as Ryu or Ken. Although he may not be the best fighter, he actually has a can-do attitude and never gives up. Dan's father was killed by Sagat, so Dan trained day and night and fought him and actually won. But Sagat, in reality, threw the fight. But that was mainly because Sagat felt like being a good guy and not letting Dan go down the path of revenge like he did with Ryu. Afterwards, Dan opened up his own dojo and became a black belt master. Also. Dan can make energy beams just like Ryu and Ken, but instead of calling them the Hadoken, he calls them the Godoken with the G. But, so it's similar to the Hadoken, but much crappier. He may not be as good as Ryu and Ken in the area of, you know, shooting laser beams from your hands, but then again, neither am I. Yeah. <laughs> 
Next scene, next scene! Something terrible happened! No problem! Number 12 Fei Long Fei Long This guy is a badass and one of my personal favorite characters. To be honest, I don't really use Fei Long that much, but he's cool in the sense that he's a movie star, a strong martial artist, and this guy is based off Bruce Lee! Bruce fucking Lee! This guy is so badass that whenever he kicks someone, he kicks him so hard that his foot catches on fire, and he kicks the crap out of the other poor sap and sets them on fire. I totally take this guy camping with me. He'd be able to start a fire just for kicks. <laughs> that pun was terrible. Next fighter. Number 11. God, just look at all this snow. I'll never be able to make it out of Mother Russia in time for the international fighting tournament. Zangief. Hailing from Soviet Russia, he drinks vodka, he wrestles bears, he is Zangief. Or Zangief. However the hell you pronounce it. This 7 foot 400 pound monster is also known by his alternate name, the Red Cyclone. You would never want to be on this guy's bad side, because he's super strong, hairy, has scars from his fights with bears, and yeah, that's right, bears. This guy wrestles brown bears just for fun. Not that I'm scared of bears either. Well, if I have my gun at least. Zangief has Russian pride, likes to dance with the Russian president. And aside from training and wrestling, he drinks vodka straight from the bottle. This guy's pure Russian badass. Yeah, I wouldn't want to mess with him. Like this list? Well, stay tuned and subscribe to see the rest of the top 20 Street Fighter characters. Also, in the meantime, check out my other videos, perhaps some Undertale, or my top 10 Donkey Kong games. Ch check them out, they're great. They're funny. Bye.